Hey, 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 the skirts of boat dogs are down here in the big boom and why, or I should say bay by the tree. Ha ha ha. Little tight tan. Yeah, Maha Y Marina. Uh, anyway, you load a uh, trailer. I got double bunks. I need to get the paint off the trailer. And you got some paint still on the gunnel over there. Uh, no paint, easy upkeep. Just use salt away. When you rinse this boat and trailer off, that is a good product. And it'll help keep spotting down. You got your rails here. You got your bent. If you notice this, this is bent down. So when you run that windlass, or yeah, that windlass, it's a Maxwell electric. You got it cleat here so you can tie your anchor off to that. You should always, these aren't so bad, <clears throat> but some of them free spool winches, you need it at the end of the anchor tie it off somewhere when you're traveling down the road or out going out in the ocean. When you, you say crossing the bar, you can undo it because if you need it for emergency, but you're probably not gonna let your anchor out at the end of the beginning of the entrance to the ocean. Okay, uh, window, rails, grab rails. Uh, this has got the G3 tubing. See all these pre-flexes? This here, it keeps that water shooting that way. So even if you do come down, you got these air pockets up underneath here. That slows the boat down. More bends you've got, the stronger the boat is. Two-speed Fulton, ideal. You gotta love them. They don't rust on you. You got that extra low speed, so none of that hard cranking. Top mount coupler, two-inch ball, peek-a-boo hole, standard flip-clip. Put a padlock in that. Check your brake fluid up underneath there. Backing removed, that has to be pulled all the way ahead. Flat four on the trailer wire. About uh, top mount, you're looking at 23 inches from ground up. Uh, it's 1850 Super Cab 2021. You got gear bath oil hubs, brown good, white bad. ST215 75R14, 50 pounds. 80 pound torques on the lug nuts, disc brakes. You got a kicker bracket here, tilt it down. So, hey, just a little word to the wise. And you do got a drain in here too. Uh, <laughs> If you ever do a kicker bracket, this is done the right way. Some people make them straight up. Notice how this is tilted. You need that because of the way the motor tilts. You want the motor to tuck in and not out. Uh, see even that one. Just a you know, little tidbit. Reverse chine on this. Uh, good lightweight boat. Uh, you got five plugs, I think. Four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. This one here you may forget once in a while. This ain't so bad. But some of the smaller ones are way up here and you can't see them. So you forget them and then you got water in your boat. Um, so basically, the only one you should probably have water in is this one here. Okay, and then you got the 115, which is plenty of power. You could run a 90 on here. You can run a 150 on here. You got a 13 by 15, I think, on the prop. Uh, yep, 13 and a half by 15. Uh, 115 turns 6300, so they're kind of a powerhouse. Uh, stainless prop shaft, drive shaft, uh, two coats of clear, two coats of primer. You look at stainless mm -hmm. special uh 3066 uh, gray paint uh there's how you change your oil right there uh put your air must flushes right down there that's how you check your gear oil you drain it down below right right there and then here's a little tidbit i haven't really been saying too much about but say your battery went dead you're in the water the motor was down you had to get it back up again uh, right here, there's a picture of a motor right here. So say something, your trim went out or something. You can actually do this, do it counterclockwise and it releases the pressure so you can lift that motor. You get it to where it's going, put these down and then tighten that up. So this is kind of a thing a lot of people don't know about. You got your dive ladder, you got your three in one active. It's got a Simrad, BHF, it's got a 0.1 antenna up on top. Your oil is brown, that's good. There's your gas vent. I put in about 28 gallons of gas. There's your Simrad RS35. I gotta calibrate that. And you do can calibrate those just so you know. And another little tidbit, two bunks. No slicks, really don't need it. Uh, uh, TR1, the old TR1s. Go to the new Garmin Autopilots if you're gonna do it. They, uh, if you got a Garmin, they hook up. Set waypoints, you can control it on the unit. The older TR1s just don't have the power. Like I was out here the other day, this has nothing to do with this boat, but it was windy, a lot of current. You get a 22 foot boat with a big 200 on it. It's gonna be really hard to control that boat with that TR1. They're meant for like lakes or calmer water or smaller boats. Okay, there's your Simrad, you got your winch. Uh, this has got the VTS on it. You got your uh, multi-tack and fuel management on here. Eagle seats, uh, whatever the catalever style seats, I guess. They're the upgraded seats. Uh, Simrad radio, a wiper, 
side curtains, rocket launchers. You got uh, over there, you got your uh, wash down hose, you got dual batteries in there. And I'll show you some other stuff when I'm running the boat and it's just a fish box, crab box, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they're really deep and wide. These are a dynamite boat. I've had these out in the ocean. Uh, very safe, they're uh, unsinkable. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful package. All right, this is the boat, Doctor. I'm out of here, going in the fog.